Hey guys, welcome to Gaijin Anime, and today I'll be talking about some of the most famous anime Yandere. Yandere. <laughs> now, if you are unfamiliar with the term Yandere, then I can refer you to my video on the most common anime character types. And basically, uh, Yandere means uh, a combination of Yang, which is kind of insane, crazy, and Dere which basically means um, soft, nice, um, etc, etc. So it's basically kind of a bipolar character who is all fluffy and then goes all crazy. And this character type is kind of fun and because of this there are quite a few of them in anime. And that's what I'll be talking about now. One of the oldest and probably um, of the most classic Yandere types, maybe even the first Yandere type, not really sure, is uh, Fuyo Kaede from Shuffle. Um, Shuffle, of course, being a re regular harem series, uh, is nothing particularly special. Fuyo Kaede in particular, she's uh, an Osananajimi type character, so a childhood friend of uh, Tsuchimirin, the main uh, hero. She is very understated, polite, modest, and so on, but in fact all this stems from a serious shock when her parents died at an earlier time and prior to that she was actually kind of psychologically very unstable and in, in a specific later part on the series she kind, kind of goes all yandere on the main character, actually all yan not really Dere. She's actually usually Dere, but sometimes she goes really young. Another classic Yandere is Kotonoha Katsura from School Days. Well, she's one of the two main heroine, heroines of this uh, eroge and anime, and she's actually also quite polite, mild-mannered, hasn't had much of a social life, and so she becomes extremely dependent and uh, attached to Makoto, our main asshole hero. Really, one of the wor worst heroes in anime, probably. He's <laughs> really not a very nice character type. Basically, towards the end of school days, she goes, oh. Like that. Probably the one most Yandere character in all of anime is Kasayuno from Mirai Nikki, who is, well, in various ways, severely um, hardcore towards both ends of the spectrum, both on the Dere Dere spectrum and on the Yan spectrum. I once saw a really nice uh, image of uh, Yuno on an elevator in Akihabara, and it was this. I think this describes her personality <laughs> real well. <laughs> She actually has a pretty uh, pretty deep background and towards the end uh, there is more or less of a happy end, I guess, so... Next one is a pretty interesting type of Yandere character and it's Tokisaki Kurumi from Data Life. She's a bit more of a complicated type of character maybe with a bit of a sadistic note. She's not really all that dead normally, but on the Yan side she is well also kind of perhaps not quite as crazy as some of the others but still quite quite hardcore in various ways i mean but still pretty nice character in in in, in various aspects and in fact uh figures of her if you if you shop for them in akiba really expensive very expensive it's i don't know why but uh tokisaki kurumi figures i have seen them the good ones for between 400 and th and a thousand dollars so yeah that's jumayang nice okay and my final character in this short list of five super yanderes is ryugurena from higurashi she's actually also a bit of a classic and it's it's not really accurate to perhaps call her a yandere in in terms of her real character because everyone in in the higurashi story basically everyone in hinamizawa they are influenced by specific circumstances i won't be saying much more and basically whew, although she uses a small type of axe 
um, which I haven't really seen around a lot, but uh, yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Perhaps she's more of, a bit more of a young Gira than a Yandere. Check out my um, anime character types video if uh, if you want to know more on that. Okay, so that's it for this short list of five fairly famous Yandere characters in anime. Of course, quite a few more as usual. Maybe I'll do I'll be doing a bit more on this later. But for now, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please subscribe. And if you have feedback, leave it in the comments below. I'll try to reply. And anyhow, see you next time. Arigatou gozaimasu. Matane.